this video will show you how to recover lost data from uh, Toshiba latest uh, MQ series laptop hard drive. So this hard drive, when I connect it to the DFSRP Toshiba firmware repair hardware, it shows it's not detected. Let's try to enter the DFL DDP data recovery software. Power on the hard drive and let's wait until the drive gets ready. Now the drive comes ready. Let's try to scan the hard drive. When we try to scan the hard drive, we can see that the hard drive ID information is not detected. The model shows drive under construction and the capacity is zero. So this is obviously not correct. So next step, we need to fix the firmware issue. Because this drive is not clinking and not dropped to the ground as what the end user feeds back to us. So we need to close the scanning interface and try to fix the common firmware issue. For Toshiba, firmware repair is usually very easy because not many firmware issues. Uh, the most common issue is the genius issue and the, the translator problem. So here we can try to fix the translator damage. Anyway, this kind of fix of translator issue is a fix in the RAM. So for this kind of RAM fix, we cannot power off the hard drive. Let's try the online fix. So the log window tells us operation success. That means users just need this simple click and the firmware issue is fixed. Now let's try to scan the hard drive again. So at this time we can find the model number has been detected. It's MQ new Toshiba hard drive and the capacity is 500 gigabyte. So at this time we can try to scan the data error. Okay, so the scan here means the scan of the data error. So it's all red. So there are still some translator issue. So we can try to clear the list. Now we power off and power on. Capacity zero. Translator fix again. Okay, so the capacity is back. Let's try to scan a different range of LDI. So we can see now the data error is accessible. Just uh, many bad sectors on this hard drive. So for this kind of hard drive, we need to use the selective head image to get its lost data back. So we can see the heads are, are already very weak or the platter situation is not good. So for this kind of hard drive, we need to be very careful. When we can scan the hard drive, that means the firmware error has been okay. The firmware modules have been repaired. So you can see there are many severely denied sec bad sectors. 
error. We can check the error sectors. This is a delayed sectors. Anyway, the data error is accessible. That means we can recover some data by direct file extraction. But for full data recovery, it's suggested users swap the heads and get the data again by selective head image. Well, thank you for watching this video.